Hey everybody, this is Unreal Engine 4.10.0 Preview 1, just released today, and I have just started a first person shooter template. And now, initially, when you play, it looks like the gun blaster thing has been updated a little bit. I'm not sure if that's just me hoping there's something new. Um, I'm sure 4.10, 4 there are a lot. Uh, bleh, there are a lot of new things involved uh, with the uh, update, but uh, let's see. One of my favorite things about Unreal Engine uh, at the moment is the foliage tab. Let's just see if this is drastically different in this release. Um, I'm going to create a new folder in my project or content browser. New folder, meshes, okay then go inside then import uh, let's see pictures right okay I recently made yeah pod that's what I'm looking for import I didn't create any textures so this is what I made oh is it tiny is it maybe that's too tiny yeah, um, hold on. Let's go back into ZBrush. That's where I made it. Increase the size two times. Okay, Z plugin, FBX export, import, export with the default settings, and then in my pictures folder, I'm going to save it as pod again. This is probably one of my favorite features about Unreal Engine. Uh, yes, replace that. So the file that I was just working on has been replaced. So then I can right click on that file and re-import. Super simple, nice and easy. Okay, let's just for the sake of, I don't know, using it, I'm going to create a, a collision for my pod dude. Okay, that looks nice. Save, oh, let's give him a texture. Yeah, no, that's too dark. I need a lighter wood. Good. Okay, save. Right, okay. Close. Now, this is pretty cool. Watch this. Click and drag into your foliage tab. Release. Now we have a mesh object that we can re reproduce many, 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 many times in our scene. Okay, so let's click on it to see. Okay, density 100. And, okay. Yeah, let's just see what this looks like real quick. Click and drag. Nice, it's creating little pods all over the place. Little pods everywhere. Pretty nice. Now let's zoom up and see one of them when they, yeah. Okay, that, that's nice and pretty. Sweet, but let's uh, go into our properties for the mesh we just created. Density, okay, a whole bunch. Now when I click and drag, I get a lot more. This is nice, nice and fun, cool. Okay, now let's add a little bit of uh, craziness to it so when we place this object its uh, initial scale is going to be one and one so just like that but we can increase the max no oh, not that much yeah 38 it might be really big yep nice and big it's a little forest cool big forest Sweet. Okay, uh, Control Z. Let's uh, make the minimum the same size. So every time I create this, it's going to be that big. And then decrease the brush size. Right. Oh, that's kind of small. That's better. Now I'm going to place these along the border just to create a 
little garden area. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Now we are inside our little area. Now we can click collision presets at the very bottom of this property item, uh, this item's property box, and go to collision presets and no collision, uh, let's say block all. Okay, so play. <laughs> yeah. Nice, okay. Yep. Now, when we move around, we hit these objects and it we can make really crazy stuff with our scenes very easily. And if I had a little bit of a, uh, some sort of an idea of how to use these little objects or other items that I can drag or put into my foliage tab, I could create one heck of a scene. Now hopefully uh, Epic Games releases some documentation on uh, Unreal Engine 4.10.0 Preview 1. That is fun to say. I might get a tattoo of that on my left arm. <laughs> um, but until then, I'm just going to have to play around with the stuff that I've known for a long time. And yeah, thanks for watching everybody.